Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to do something that seems relatively simple, but uh, and it is, unless you want to do some additional styling. And that is this. And that's to add a, a link into the Elementor Pro uh, testimonial carousel widget. Or below here is the Elementor free or core uh, testimonial widget. Now you can just add your normal um, HTML link uh, and that's fine. But if you want to style it like here where we made it larger, a uh, different color, uh, center it and on a new line, well, then you have to do a little bit extra. So that's what uh, I'm going to show you here how to do. We hope. So let's go back here into the back end. And I'll show you that page in Elementor. So if we just right click it and see testimonial carousel from the pro. And just in the first item, scroll down, and here you can see uh, what I've added. I'm just going to try dragging this down a little bit. So the read more link is right here. This, but I put it in a div, right in a div, and gave it an ID. Uh, is so that it'll do a couple things. It'll let you style it independently of the testimonial carousel styling. Also, it puts it on a new line and centers it. Now, if you look closely here, it's just your normal, uh, you know, anchor link, href equals blah, 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 full path to where you want to go. In this case, I'm just going over here to my blog uh, link. But uh, here on the uh, free version, it's similar, uh, except I have the target equals blank. And that's so that it opens in a new tab. Let's say it's going to some other site that you don't mind people going to. Uh, normally, you want to keep them on your site, but if the... Uh, if the testimonial was coming from some other blog or whatever, you might want to do it this way. So I'll be posting the uh, CSS and the HTML uh, for both methods. So basically, that's what you do is you paste uh, the code in here. I'll just show you what happens if you if it's not there. And there it is gone down here. We're using this one. So I'll just paste it back and there it is. So let's just go, uh, I'll just click update. Have a look at what the CSS is that's doing that and I'm using this simple CSS plugin from Tom Musburn over at Generate Press. And this is where it might trip some people up, right? And that is the elementary selector. If you don't have that, this won't work. And here's the thing. Uh, this is for the testimonial carousel. And this is just for the WordPress core or the free version testimonial widget. So as you can see, it's a different selector. And I used a little bit different uh, ID, TML for testimonial link, and TML testimonial dash C for carousel link, and the anchor value. And here are values, font size, font style, weight. This is a little bit bold. Line height, that's going to give you some distance uh, between the actual testimonial text and the link. And, of course, your color. And all these can be changed uh, as you see fit. So uh, don't mind this. Uh, this is for another tutorial that's coming up. 
and uh, it's basically the old slanted button uh, ploy. <laughs> so anyways, that is how you get this. Uh, it's not really that complicated, but like I said, if you want to style this independently of the styling that's available in uh, Elementor, uh, then you need to use this CSS. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found this useful, and if you do, or even if you don't, what the heck, subscribe to the Sniffle Valve YouTube channel and also here, uh, down on the Sniffle Valve site. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you again soon next time.